I'm going to be trading for the best player in every Madden. And to start off, we're going to jump into Madden 99, where Franchise was first introduced. So the best player in Madden NFL 99 is John Elway, who's actually a 99 overall. You know, ideally, we're probably going to have to trade him for like another quarterback. So how about we go for another great quarterback in Dan Marino here? And with this kind of offer, I was hopeful the Broncos would take it. And they would accept this offer, meaning that we completed our first game. Going into Madden 2000 now, Mike Alstott happens to be the best player who's a 100 overall. The since these straight systems in the game are not very good at the moment, it was pretty easy to trade for him. I'll start, say less. Deion Sanders for Mike Alstott. Please work. Thank you. Oh my God. And after making this trade, we would be moving on to Madden 2001, where we'd be switching things up a bit. And now I'll be using a wheel to see what team we're going to be trading the best player to. So let's just spin it right here. Hopefully we get someone good. I really don't want to get destroyed here. And it's going to be the Bengals. And this Bengals team wasn't that great as their best player was a 92 overall. So I thought I was going to be struggling here a lot. And the player we would be trading for here would be 100 overall Zach Thomas, who's pretty good. And now I just need to set up a trade that was good enough to get him take my first round pick take my inside linebacker and i want to give them another first round pick but next year's picks weren't available in this game and then you know what just take my running back too take everything we'll, we'll trade that those are the three guys we're gonna trade and now it was time to submit the offer yes please oh my god it worked bro there's no way they actually took that that's wild okay that knocks it off 100 overall zach thomas traded in 2001 we got to move on to 2002 now all right let's see which team we're going to be using next i hope it's someone good because i have a feeling this game's gonna have a really good player on it and it's the cleveland brown I don't, that's a poverty franchise. Good God. And shockingly, this Browns team was pretty good. The player we'd be trading for is 100 overall Randy Moss. And since the trade system in this game is still pretty bad, it was very easy to trade for the best player in this game. They took it. Wow, okay. Now going into Madden 03, things are going to be a little bit harder here. The best player in this game happens to be Marshall Falk, who's a 99 overall. But not only that, the trade system finally got fixed and things are not going to be as easy as I thought they would. But first, we need to see which team we're going to be using all right let's see what team we're going to be using this time i hope it's someone good because i really don't want to have to like screw up a trade here and it looks like it's going to be the giants okay they should have a good team in this game i feel like and the top players on our team are pretty good as we had 99 overall michael strahan who is going to probably help us a lot getting marshall fall when you're making offers for a trade you'll notice that there's an interest bar on the right and whenever it's red they're most likely never going to take an offer like that the goal is to get that bar as high as possible into the green at least to fill it up and the rams will most likely take any trade from that i immediately knew michael strahan was going to have to be in this trade but i didn't realize how easy easy this trade was actually going to be after all because as soon as we added in a first round pick the Rams were immediately interested in trading Marshall Falk is a giant and Michael Strand in a first round pick is going to the Rams for him that is another player traded for now we're going to be jumping into Madden 2004 where the best player in the game is 99 overall Brian Dawkins all right, let's see what team we're going to be using next. We got a good team last time, and we're getting the Patriots this time. They have a pretty good team, actually, at this game. And this Patriots team would actually be able to make a pretty decent offer for Brian Dawkins. Uh, free safety. You know what? How about we exchange free safeties? I'll give you Rodney Harrison. Nope. Boom. Eagles not interested. Awesome. I'm going to cry. Yeah, well, if I just did Rodney Harrison, first round pick. Uh, So first round pick, you know what? Fine. Take my second round pick. Hopefully they like it. It looks like they do. They have accepted it. Let's go. We got Brian Dawkins on the team and just like that we're gonna be jumping into madden 2005 where the best player is 99 overall champ bailey all right let's see which team we're gonna be using in this game i hope we're getting someone good i don't really want to have to deal with some bad trading and we're getting the miami dolphins in 06 they might have been good i have no clue and this Dolphins team was way better than i expected where their best player was 98 overall jason taylor and he was definitely gonna help us get champ bailey 100 percent. i'm just gonna put in my first round pick because i know i'm gonna need that yeah you know if we're gonna exchange that i'll even give you my third round pick that sounds like a deal okay and i was struggling to find a good trade where i wouldn't have to trade any of my top players to get champ bailey and I was finally able to get one. Champ Bailey has been traded to the Dolphins in 2006. Thank God it worked. And without wasting any time, we'd be moving on to Madden 2006, where the best player is 99 overall Randy Moss. You know, we got a good team last time. Hopefully it can be just like that. Los Angeles Chargers. You know what? I think they should have a good team here. Hopefully they do. You know what? Fine. I'll get. I'll give you my best receiver, who's an 87. You and I was very quickly humbled by my first offer. Oh my God. Okay. <laughs> this is gonna be way harder than I thought. Nice. You want Ladainian Tomlinson? Here. Tomlinson. 
for that in the first round pick and a second round pick they don't want it oh my god and after messing around with certain offers i got the raiders to finally have some interest in one of them bill rivers is gonna have to go ladania tomlinson is gonna have to go for a first round pick please take it thank you they have accepted the trade randy moss is on the chargers god and just like that we're on the madden 07 where we're gonna have to be trading for 99 overall peyton manning who's on the colts right now honestly i really don't want to get hoed anywhere so we're gonna be using the washington redskins okay and the redskins here have a pretty good team so trading for manning may not be as hard as i thought it would be but then i got very quickly humble with the first offer i submitted because it was not even close to getting Manning. And after many failed offers, I had to come up with something else. The only solution to trade for paying Manning here is I'm gonna have to trade with another team, get like some players or a player from them and put it into a package with Payne Manning after. So, okay, we're gonna have to go do that. Lucky for me, the Colts were in need of a very good cornerback. So I decided to trade with the Ravens to get Chris McAllister and hoping that could make the Payne Manning trade easier for me. And after making a new offer with Chris McAllister in it, the Colts were pretty satisfied with it. Thank you. Hey, Manning's been traded to the Redskins. Thank you. And now we'd be jumping into Madden 08, where the best player again happens to be Payne Manning. That last game was not very great for us. And now we're getting the Chiefs in 08. Okay. And luckily for me, the Colts were pretty easy to work with to get Payne Manning on the Chiefs. First round pick. Please take it. Oh, I will gladly take that. Please make my life easier. Thank you. And now we got to move into Madden 2009. I have a good feeling we're not going to be trading for Payne Manning next season. And I would happen to be right about this because in Madden 09, we would have to be trading for the best player of all time, Tom Brady. All right, we got a good team for Madden 08. Hopefully we can get another good team for Madden 09, the Philadelphia Eagles. I think we got a good team here. And luckily for me, the Eagles had a very good team with a lot of 95 plus players to make it pretty good for me to trade for Brady. I knew Donovan McNabb was going to have to be in this deal to replace place Tom Brady but as long as I had two other good players with him the Patriots would have to accept it and it, they have accepted thank you okay I thought trading Brady was gonna be a lot harder thankfully that got done pretty easily now we can move on to 2010 and in this next game we're gonna be trading for a Vikings fan favorite Adrian Pearson who's a 99 overall all right let's see what next team we're gonna be using I hope it's somebody good and it's the Cincinnati Bengals in Madden 10 okay and the fact that I got stuck with a very bad franchise was not good if I was going to be trading for the best player. And when I was putting together my very first offers, I knew I was going to have to trade for someone else to help with this offer. They don't want it. Okay. And so I had to start looking for other players to help with this trade. And luckily for me, I knew the best way to get Adrian Peterson was to trade for a player that had the last name Peterson and put that in the offer for him. Put the Bengals below minimum amount of halfbacks. I don't care. Lions take the trade. Cool. Okay, so we got Peterson now. And still, the Vikings were declining an offer with Peterson in it, so I knew I had to do a little bit more to get him. Justin Tuck for Ocho Cinco, boom. Hopefully, that gets us somewhere. And yet again, the Vikings were still declining this offer, so I had to trade for another player. Boom, just give me that. We're trading three players for three players. God, this should be good. Adrian Peterson and two nobodies for Justin Tuck, McKenzie, and Carson Palmer. The Vikings have taken the trade. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. That was horrible. The worst experience of my whole life. But little did I know that would not even top what I would be going through later on. I, I can't. It's impossible. It's impossible. I can't. But now we're going to be moving on to Madden 11, where we're going to have to trade for Adrian Peterson again. But hopefully we can get lucky with a good team. All right, next team we're going to be using the bank. Don't give me the Bengals ever again, I swear. The Rams. I don't I don't know if they're that good either. Oh my god. And the Rams top three actually wasn't that bad. So I felt like this trade was not gonna be too hard. And while I was messing around with the trade offers, this happened. Would you take a halfback in return? They would. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to like put in some fillers. Yeah, okay. So we're gonna have to put in some fillers really quick. Hold on. And it does. Oh my God. Okay. That was way easier than I thought it would be. And now we move on to Madden 2012. And in this game, we're gonna be trading for a Bears legend and Julius Peppers. All right, here we go. Spinning for the next team. That was not a lot easier than I thought it would be. And we get the Falcon. And it's safe to say that this Falcon team was stacked. Oh, Roddy White. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. We're chilling. Tony Gonzalez. No, we're chilling. Let's go Abraham. They need a right tackle. Oh, stay less. Perfect. I have a right tackle for you. Boom. B. I feel like they had a left tackle. 
Oh, that actually gets this for us. So we're 100% going to have to take some filler. So I'm just going to put in some really quick and see if they take the offer. I mean, it looks good. Abraham, Clavo, and Baker for Julius Pepper should work. And it does. The Bears take the trade. Julius Peppers goes to the Falcons. And just like that, we're on to Madden 13, where we would yet again be trading for Julius Peppers. All right, let's see, let's see what team we're going to be using next. I really do not want to get stuck with a bad team again. That would really suck. And it's going to be the Saints. They shouldn't be too bad. And this Saints team looked like it had some pretty good players on it. So I had a lot of confidence going into this trade. Let's just see what it looks like for Jimmy Graham. So I'm going to give them a first round pick. Take Malcolm Jenkins. Hopefully that works for Julius Peppers. Jimmy Graham, Malcolm Jenkins, first round pick. Declined again. So knowing that I didn't have everything I needed to trade for Julius Peppers, I decided to go out there looking for different players to help with this. But I started running into a very big problem. When I was trying to trade for certain players, it was literally impossible to get them and since i was struggling so bad i decided to search up if there were any ways that i could even trade for julius peppers in the first place and lucky for me i may have found an answer i'm trying to figure out a way to really get this dude traded and the only way i can literally find is giving up like first round picks because apparently they just don't want to take any players at all so i was on my way trying to trade for the first second and third overall pick which i had a good feeling could get me julius peppers okay we got the second overall pick so now we just need to grab the third and the first cool third overall pick secured now i just need to grab the number one overall pick let's go they took it nice okay if this doesn't work then i literally have no hope in trading for julius peppers at all now it's time to see if they would take the offer i really don't have faith that this is gonna work but if i scroll down i'm gonna see the answer and they declined it wow okay okay and so after that i had to do more research and i ended up finding a very disappointing answer i ended up finding this post that this guy said that he would trade all of his picks from rounds two plus for first rounders then managed to steal players like von miller patrick willis and richard sherman and all other players were off hands pretty much and it was insane how true this statement actually was see like man th this doesn't make any sense i can't it's it's impossible it's not happening it sucks but it's not happening and i can't do it so i would end up having to bail out on madden 13 because ea made a pretty bad trade system and i can do nothing about it so i would just move on to madden 25 where we would have to trade for 99 overall megatron and this was not going to be easy all right let's see what team we're going to be using next madden 13 was a nightmare and it looks like we're going to be using the san francisco 49ers that's probably a good team and the first thing i had to do was to look at which players the lions needed on their team they need a left outside left end right guard and right tack they do need a right outside the right side linebacker is really bad so we can probably provide there a hundred percent yep we got alden smith okay they want a fullback send that to them I, I i bet my picks aren't good oh my god my picks are ew no these are bad these are bad okay i guess i'll send like malik why am i saying malik willis patrick willis how about we just don't take the best middle linebacker in the nfl right now great you can take it okay they don't want it I, I wish there was a bar of how close i am to successfully making this trade happen what if i just sent like 399s their way but then i made the offer that the lions could not deny pretty badly would they take that easy we got calvin johnson that was quick and simple now we get to move on to madden 15 and in this game we're gonna have to trade for 99 overall richard sherman one of the best corners of all time all right so madden 25 was actually pretty easy hopefully madden 15 isn't and new york jets okay we're getting the new york jets i and i was actually pretty shocked by how good this jets team was and it actually made me think that we could get this trade done pretty quick you know maybe they want the first round pick but, but like with that pick you'll get like eric decker and harrison they're definitely not taking this if they don't, oh, oh what if i give them wilkerson yeah you want this the trade was accepted easy now we go on the madden 16 one of the best Maddens, in my opinion. And in Madden 16, we were going to have to trade for 99 overall Rob Gronkowski. So hopefully we can get a good team to make this easy on us. I hope it's somebody good. And it looks like we're getting the Cincinnati Bengals. All right man and luckily for me this Bengals team was actually pretty good so i had a lot of confidence going into this trade and let's try this a first and then the guard they don't want that wow okay so after that offer i decided that i need to go trade for another player that the patriots needed so i looked no further than marquise pouncey to help out that center position astro out his deal and then i give you this accepted and so i decided to add marquise pouncey to the original offer and 
it worked. So happy I did not need to do more trading. Oh my god, that would have sucked. That could have been way worse than it was. And now we got to move on to Madden 17. We're going to be trading for 99 overall Aaron Rodgers. I really don't want to get hoed by anything here. And it looks like we're using the Redskins. Okay, that's not a bad team. And it was safe to say that the Redskins actually had a pretty decent team going for them. So I was pretty shocked by that. And luckily, EA would add in a progress trade bar that would show me how close I am to even getting an offer for any of these players. So I went out there, submitted my first offer, and it got declined. And then I'll give you like a first guess a uh, middle linebacker actually i think they have a good middle linebacker mason foster yeah and they want this i they're definitely not gonna take it but oh they did take it wow okay now we gotta move on to madden 18 and in this game we're gonna be trading for the cover athlete of madden 18 who is tom brady all right here we go time for madden 18 hopefully we can get some decent team here and we're gonna get the new york giants okay that's not a bad one actually we're gonna take that look i don't know what it's gonna take to get brady at this point but be honest with you, I'm ready to give up everything. You're going to take Geno Smith. 100% you're going to take Geno Smith. They're interested in Geno Smith, guys. Eh? We're close. And I was trying multiple offers to get Brady, but none of them were really clicking as good as I thought they would. So I knew I was going to have to go out there and get some better players. So I went out there and got Cameron Wake and shockingly even got Bobby Wagner with a very cheap price on it. Wow. Okay. Okay. I didn't expect it to be that easy. Okay. And so after submitting the new offer to the Patriots, this happened. We did it. Let's go. Okay. We got Tom Brady traded for finally. Now we got to move on to Madden 19. And going into this next game, we're going to be training for Aaron Rodgers again. But little did I know, it's going to be so much harder than I thought. But first, we got to see which team we're trading Rodgers to. All right. Let's spin for the team right here. I hope we get a good team here. I don't want to game one bad. And we get the New Orleans Saints. I think we could easily trade for them. And right away, when I made my first offer, I knew I was going to have to trade with other people to get Rodgers. And so I got to trading, immediately getting Geno Atkins on the cheap you know Atkins like made no different I would then go out there and trade for a 95 overall right guard and hope that this would make the offer accepted like I'll literally give you Cameron Jordan you want that it's so close I then realized I was gonna need a lot better players here so I decided to go out there looking for players like Jalen Ramsey who are 97 overalls but it felt like it was impossible to get them so I had to try a little bit of an experiment to see if this trade was even possible to get Rodgers and the results that I found were very shocking so I had to do a little bit of experimenting to see what kind of trade we could even make work and I'm gonna be honest with you guys I don't think it's possible for to trade for the best player in this game because you could send antonio brown 99 von miller 99 and jalen ramsey 97 and you don't even get rogers in return and so with that happening i had to skip madden 19 because it was almost impossible to get rogers and so without wasting any more time i was moving on to madden 20 where i would have to trade for 99 overall deandre hopkins all right let's see what team we're going to be using for madden 20 here and we're going to be using the ravens i think we actually might have lucked out here and it was pretty safe to say that this Ravens team was not bad at all but would it be good enough to trade for DeAndre Hopkins they might take it yeah okay they're not crazy about Yonda and so right after that offer I decided to trade for right tackle Mitchell Schwartz since the Texans needed him pretty bad except this thank you good lord that was such an overpay but and along with that I would also go out there and trade for Zach Martin but it looks like the Texans were still not interested oh my god I don't really know where we're missing I'm gonna have to figure out a different position to give them because it's obviously not gonna work so then I decided to try trading for Fletcher Cox, but the Eagles and us could not agree on anything. Maybe I guess we're just not trading for Fletcher Cox. I don't know. And so after trying one more offer without Zach Martin in it, I was hoping this one would work, which would be declined yet again. And after sitting there for a little bit, I started questioning if this was even possible to do. So I tried to trade 399s for DeAndre Hopkins and ended up finding this. Yeah, I gotta be honest with you. I don't, I don't even know if it's possible to trade for D-Hop. Like, Look at this. And after including Mahomes in the trade, this made me lose all hope. I think we're gonna have to call this one off because this isn't gonna work. And so after having to skip yet another game, I just wanted to move on to Madden 21 in hopes that we could trade for the player we have to trade for, which would be 99 overall Patrick Mahomes. All right, let's see what team we're gonna be taking for Madden 21. Hopefully it's somebody good. And it's the Denver Broncos. God, I don't... I don't have any hope for this team. So I was right away going to mess around with some offers with the Broncos and the Chiefs and I ended up finding out something crazy. And then we have next year's. Oh, I didn't, I didn't even put that in, but we'll just try it with one. What? You're telling me Von Miller and two first round picks, both of them being like projected to be the third, can get me Mahomes. Just please take it. I'm gonna, 
Okay, we can make it a current day pick. So I ended up trading for a current day pick and this would happen. They took it. We did it. Oh my God. Now we can move on to the next game. It's over. Let's go. So now we got to move on to Madden 22 where we'll be trading for 99 overall Miles Garrett. All right, let's see what team we're going to be using for Madden 22. And it's going to be the Los Angeles Chargers. I think they're actually not too bad in this game. All right, so they are missing out on a quarterback, left outside linebacker, D tackle, wide receiver, middle linebacker. We could send them Joey Bo so that wouldn't be a bad idea actually whoa okay that makes this trade actually really easy then wow and so after adding a little bit more with the bosa offer this happened we got our quarterback of the future gave us miles garrett let's go easy i don't know what like i feel like some of these games would be way harder to trade for certain players but it hasn't been like that and with only two more games remaining we were moving on to madden 23 where we would have to trade for 99 overall aaron donald let's see what team we're using for madden 23 only two more games left and it's gonna be the jets okay and i wish we had the 24 jets team but we have the 23 jets team and they're not really that great my first offer was a first round pick and a quarterback but the rams were not interested in that at all i then tried to make an offer with just a first round picking it and somehow the Rams were more interested in that than having a quarterback with it so this logic is completely broken so then I tried adding another first round pick in the offer and this happened and they're both top five projected this sh may work wow it did okay so I'm not sure how you can trade two first round picks to get Aaron Donald that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be but now we got to move on to our last game Madden 24 and in this game we were going to be trading for 99 overall Patrick Mahomes which is not going to be easy but at least EA would actually help us a little bit with some new features but first we gotta see which team we're using all right one more game left all we need here is just a decent team to help us and we get the Buccaneers are you kidding me right now oh my god and so to help us, we're now going to have six trade slots instead of three trade slots to get Mahomes and other players, which is going to help out so much. Another thing to add is that we're now going to have three years worth of picks to trade for, which is going to be huge. But it was clear that the Chiefs were not sold on three first round picks for Mahomes. No, 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 no. Look at the meter. That's nothing for three first. Oh my God. So I can't just go like my best player. So I can do Tristan Wirtz, Levante David, Mike Evans. Well, shoot, I already know I'm giving away all my picks. So, oh, okay that's halfway that's bad dude so right after this i got to trading with other teams for better players i'm gonna send them a third and a second hopefully this works please nope oh it's so close they're greedy man they're greedy what is that dude seventh round pick if you don't take this i don't know what's wrong with you boom demarcus lawrence we then went after right end jeffrey simmons who's an 89 and he was gonna help us out a lot like i said no more draft capital is gonna exist Boom, Jeffrey Simmons, let's go. Three, we cannot touch those first round picks. I might touch the 2024 one and make that the number one overall pick just so it actually has more value. So I then tried submitting our new offer and it was declined. So I went back out to go trade for some more players and I ran to Max Crosby, who was definitely gonna be a good offer for this trade. Wow, okay, I'm not sure why that just raised it so high. And then after a couple more offers, we finally got him. Let's go, we got Max Crosby, thank you. Okay, and so I would submit the new offer with Max Crosby in it and this would be the result. We're so, okay, we're close. We're getting there. All those picks to current day picks. So I'm going to make that happen for sure. And I thought trading for these picks was going to be easy until I realized that the same team owned the second and the third overall pick. And since I had so much draft capital taken away, I had to trade for a little bit more. Please work. Please. It was so close. You have to take it. What? No. It is so close. I don't know what we're missing. Are we missing just a second, current day second? So I decided to go sign some free agents. And at this time, Dalvin Cook happened to be a free agent. So I took full advantage of that. We are taking that 100%, boom. So I would then end up trading Dalvin Cook for a little bit more draft capital to get the second and third overall pick. So yeah, two second round picks. If they don't take this, then I don't know what to do. Boom, we got it. The picks are ours. Oh my God. Okay. I then added the picks to the offer to see if the Chiefs would actually take it. Please show me the money. It's so close. It's close. Okay. So I decided to sign some more free agents to make another trade to get some more draft capital in a good corner. Yeah, I might just take that offer. I'm not going to lie. That might be the best we can do. And with those extra picks, I decided to trade away our 92 left tackle to get Trent Williams, who's the best left tackle in the game. Oh my God, I got Trent Williams, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Thank you. We would also trade away Jeffrey Simmons to get 94 Von Miller just to make the value of the trade better. And now it was time to test the new offer. The trade for Mahomes is Von Miller, Max Crosby, Trent Williams three first round picks the first the second the third overall pick this year if this works i'm gonna be so happy 
please make it work. Declined? Bro, there is no way. The only possible way I could see this trade getting better is if I exchange Von Miller for Micah Parsons, which was gonna cost me a lot. All right, man, here we go. All this for Micah Parsons, and it happened. Thank you. And after that trade, I was sold that this was the correct offer. All of this for Trent Williams, Micah Parsons, Max Crosby. The second, well, the first overall pick, second overall pick, third overall pick. I have so much confidence this is going to work. Please. All I'm looking for is just, yes, accept it. Let's go. We got it. We did it. Oh, my God. We did it. Mahomes has been traded. Oh, my God. We finally did it. So now we have finally traded for the best player in every single Madden. But what would happen if you took the greatest player of all time and Tom Brady and made him switch teams after every season? Click the video on the screen to find out.